After years serving Travis and Bastrop counties in the Texas State Senate, Kirk Watson announced he is stepping down today. He's taking a position as the founding dean of the University of Houston Hobby School of Public Affairs. Watson served as the mayor of Austin from 1997 until 2001 before a 13-year-long run as senator starting in 2007. KXAN's Tom Miller spoke with Watson today about his time in Austin and what's ahead. You know, you've been in Austin for most of your life. What's it like knowing that you're going to be leaving now? Well, it's, a, it, it's not easy. I love Austin. I would only do this if, if uh, I saw it as a unique opportunity, and I would only do it by also saying thank you to the people of Austin and Central Texas who have trusted me to, to play a role in their lives. Thinking back on your time in the State Senate, what are you proud of, Sam? Well, I'm proud of a whole lot of things. Uh, one is I'm proud of the relationships I have. But I'm also very proud of, of some of the, the legislation we've passed. For example, in this last session of the legislature, um, what we did with regard to open government so that Texans uh, have greater accountability and transparency in their government. What are some of the things that you wish you'd been able to get done? With regard to sexual assault and trying to do what we need to do and should be doing to empower survivors is dealing with the definition of consent in our penal code. I think we've got people's attention, but we weren't quite there. You have some huge achievements like the Austin State Hospital, the Dell Medical School. Who picks up the torch from here? Oh, I'm going to let, the, you know, if anybody wants to run for office has that opportunity to run for office, and I'm going to let the people of Austin, who I think um, do a good job of discerning who they want to be their leaders and be involved in their lives, uh, they'll, let, they'll make that decision. Watson sent his resignation letter to Governor Abbott today, telling him his last day on the job will be April 30th. A special election will be needed to fill his seat for the remainder of his term, which runs through 2022. Meanwhile, several candidates have expressed interest in potentially vying for Watson's Senate seat. We'll have a full listing of that coming up on KXE News at 5.